Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement as we return to Westeros. <laughs> and I'm scared already. I'm scared already. Okay. It is the season two premiere of House of the Dragon. <sighs> okay. So just mm, production value. This show is amazeballs, but it's not the happiest of stories. It's not a feel good romp. It's, but we watch it because it's also banana boats crazy. And I want to see the banana boats crazy. So we're here. We are here. I believe now we have moved on from little, little skirmishes, little battles, little pokey pokey at each other. And now we're a full blown, we're at war, right? Right. Cause Renea's son, Renera, Renera's son, second baby child, Luke, Luke <laughs> has been killed outright slaughter because I don't think there's any recovery from getting snapped at by a big, <laughs> big <laughs> dragon <laughs> and falling a bajillion miles from the sky. There's no recovery from that. So he has to be dead, dead. He has to be dead, dead. So now we're going to war, war, right? Right. Uh, name wise, I don't, I don't remember everybody's name. Because one, they all kind of sound the same. I think some of them are the same. And it's been a while. So I'm going to have nicknames for everybody for a while until I get reacclimated to where I am. But I'm excited to get to it. And I'm glad you are here with me as well. So we're going to get under the big cozy blanket. And because it's a dark and stormy show, I'm not drinking a dark and stormy. No, but I do have an amaretto sour because it just feels like just kind of feels like the beverage to have. Uh, let me know what you're drinking. I would like to know whatever it is. I hope it's delightful. Um, you're gonna remember that full episode watch along is available on Patreon. I don't know if I had Patreon when I was watching season one, but I do now. So you can watch the whole slaughter with me. <laughs> would love to see you there. And if you're ready, I think I am. So let's get to it. I forgot they used the old Game of Thrones music because nobody liked the <laughs> House of Dragons music. Okay, so what do we have going on in this tapestry? We didn't have a tapestry last season, did we? Ooh, that was intriguing. We got to open up on entrails on the ground. All men of honor must pay its price. The North owes a great duty to the Seven Kingdoms. This is Winterfell. Since the days of the first men, we have stood as guardians against the cold and the dark. But my ancestor, Torrin Stark, began a tradition by making an offering at the onset of winter. One in 10 men from our household was to be chosen to fortify the watch. Bye, pumpkin. Right? This is not a sentence, but an honor. Yeah. <laughs> he looks joyful for this honor. <laughs> it pleases me to think that over a century ago, our ancestors treated in this very place. He's gotten so old now, I didn't even recognize him. The realm will soon tear itself apart if men do not remember the oath sworn to King Viserys and to his rightful heir. In winter, my duty to the wall is even more dire than the one I owe to King's Landing. If my mother is to defend her claim to hold the realm united, she needs an army. War is coming. We cannot wage it without the support of the North. And so were the frost demons? Is that what they were? Are they already there? Do you think my ancestors built a 700 foot wall of ice? to keep out snow and savages. What does it keep out? Death. A raven's arrived. Urgent news from Dragonstone. <clears throat> War is on! War is on! Take your mount again. We're flying out. Melis must gorge and rest, as must I. We're going to King's Landing. To what end? 
Oh. Vega. Ah. If my dragon and yours together, we can kill Vagar and her rider. <gasps> oh. Oh. Okay. We're doing this now. Was this the queen's command? The queen remains absent. She is grieving. The mother grieves as the queen shirks her duties. It was a raven that brought me news of Lena's death. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot they were in-laws. It was only when I saw my daughter's mortal remains that I could begin to mourn her. The queen was wise to accuse herself. She has not acted on the vengeful impulse that others might have. If you'd have acted when you had the chance, Dragon's line would be extinguished. Mm-hmm. And Luke would be alive. Mm-hmm. Fly with me. It is a command. Would that you were the king. <laughs> okay, I cannot remember. Did Damon and Rhaenerys have children? I think. She has a baby, yes? Seven more ships put out to sea this morning to fortify the blockade. I must have my ship back at sea. To lead the effort. It'll be many weeks yet. The smithy delivered this earlier. I had this commission for Prince Lucerus. Oh. I was very sorry to hear about your heir's death. Oh yeah, that's right. Lucerus was supposed to marry the daughter and be his heir. They tell me that you're the one that dragged my body out of the sea. Was he now? It was only my duty. I am indebted to you, Alan. Is Alan now the heir? Well, Targaryen, the castle is no more, is it? Oh, the children have children now? Where is your Harris? The children have children. I could not remember. Take him into the small council. He'll be king one day. He must begin his instruction. I'm afraid. Should be. Don't be. Mm -mm. They'd be fools to come with Vagar protecting the city. Not the dragons. The rats. Oh. Is someone having a premonition? <sighs> Well, who's she with? It's a Christian. It is! Been pleasuring queens left and right for all time. We cannot. Again. She says, for now. Yes, your grace. Because he smells sex. Sex on the middle aged man now. Good morrow, my lords. Oh, jeez. Our letters to the Vale and to the North continue to go unanswered. My letters to Rhaenyra. Has there been any answer? An apology for her dead son? None, Your Grace. Between that and their blockade of the gullet, we must presume that the princess has refused the offered terms and that war is now inevitable. Which you should not be surprised. Our outreach. Stop. Enough. Release it at once. Would someone please? Is the heir to the throne bothering you, Thailand? Yes. No, 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 not in the least, Your Grace. Because I think he wants a ride. Wouldn't that be fun, Jaharis? Should the Master of Coin be your royal steed? <laughs> Okay, so are we taking bets now how long this king is going to be king? I don't think it's going to be the whole season. Eamon, what is your business here? The king summoned me. You do not have a seat at this council. Eamon is my closest blood and our best sword. I welcome him. And this is all his fault. <laughs> You've already demonstrated your might, your grace. We must now favor patience and restraint History and precedent will come to your side. Good morning, Your Grace. Good morning, Lord Laris. Speaking of rats, 
What's it you wish to discuss? Your feet. I have completed questioning the whole of the castle staff. I am satisfied I have exposed all who betrayed our trust. And what of them? They no longer breathe our air. I've chosen your new staff personally. I don't trust him at all. In any capacity. Oh no. Dragon! Yeah. What made you think that just a dragon wing washing up on shore was a good thing? Wow, they set up shops and everything. That was slick. So is this their was this their little port? Is he wrapped in the wing? Is he wrapped in the wing? Seven kingdoms and protector of the realm. Hail King Aegon! <laughs> Let's have the first petition, my good Lord Hand. I wouldn't petition this asshole for anything. Tis my flock. A, a, a tenth of them taken by. Your dragons? The crown. If I'd had the time to plan, we should perhaps. return them. I shall make your flock of sheep whole. <laughs> How? We already made a promise to all the crown lands that a tithing of livestock would be necessary to sustain the dragons. Perhaps we could just return his sheep. He came all this way. If you return one herd of sheep, your grace, you'll soon find them all at the foot of your throne expecting the same. They won't know. When the king speaks, your grace, all here. It's like working for the city. It's like working for the city. After further thought, I have decided that I cannot restore your sheep. Bring the next. Be grateful you're allowed to walk away with all your appendages. The Smiths are all proud to support your grace against Rhaenyra. Iron costs have grown. If we could but have the crown's coin before we started work, it would bring great relief. Why not half up front? You shall be paid, and paid well. Our victory depends on the efforts of the small folk. Your Grace, it filled my heart to see you on the Iron Throne. It is the Hand's want to keep a firm grip on things. You controlled your father the same way. I would think, as we find ourselves standing within a hair's breadth of war, that you would wish to be viewed differently. Oh, is someone gunning for the hand job? You know what I was mean. My tower. You know what I mean. Was your father's hand, Your Grace? I find myself wondering, do we pursue the same end? I shall tell you mine. It's victory. And how would you define victory? Rhaenyra bending the knee and Aegon sitting the Iron Throne in peace. Never gonna happen. Ever, 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 ever. Then be my ally. I am. An ally would not repeatedly cut my legs from beneath me at that table of men. But if you undermine my voice, both those boys will grow deaf to it. But you must accept that the path to victory now is one of violence. Alex Valarian! Search the home for stowaways! You. Oh! When last we met, there were two of you. Right. She stowed away? How long have you been selling secrets to Otto Hightower? As long as he had gold to pay for them. You put Aegon on the throne. That was the Hightower's conspiracy. I merely profited from knowing Aegon's movements. But you delivered him. Simply spent the business along. Business that ended with the theft of the Queen's throne and the murder of her son. You only blame me because your true enemies are out of reach. 
My arrangement with the Hand was purely transactional. I held no loyalty to him. What else do you know of him, his plans? Little and less. Ips is nothing of value to you, Damon. Mm. Then why should he let you live? Have something. Pretend to have something, right? Right? Have her moved to the cells. She is to be treated as a traitor to the crown. All the crowns. Both of them. Rainier Hall. Oh, yeah. Mama's home. Lady of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm. <laughs> All these protectors of the realms are so gonna burn it all to the ground. I will fly to Harren Hall at your command and set our toehold in the Riverlands. I want Aemon's Targaryen. Oh, she's single minded. One focus. Not the throne, just the lad. Oh. And so whatever it takes her to get to the lad, I'm guessing we'll just. Yes. In your years as merchant of gossip, you surely accumulated spies within the Red Keeps. Except, except. Crafty McGee sliced them, right? Your knowledge in exchange for your freedom. <laughs> Who's sneaking up on shore? Or are they letting what's her name escape? Escape. You know what I mean. Is Damon gonna go get some spies? Kamumba, I told you bear a mislike for the high towers. Wow. The high towers. <laughs> Lucky he found the right guy at the right place. Damon, I think he should have hid his hair a little bit wetter. Those one of Egon's rat catchers. Those white, all oh, the rats, the rats, the white locks will give him away. The rats, that's right. A ghost told me you were a betting man. Fighting pits? Dogs. How deep your debts? Wow. Damon came loaded for bear. I was also given to understand. I don't like this camera angle. I don't like this camera angle. It suggests someone's watching. You're to find and slay the Prince Aemon Targaryen. Oh, he's making him do it. He has silver hair and one eye. He's making him do it. But I understand he's quite good in a fight. You want to take caution. It's one half. If we get the other one, it's done. Damon knows how to pay it. a little deposit up front. All right. <laughs> my brother is hostage to my grandsire and mother. And they tell him that a war of dragons can yet be avoided. Otto fears to upset the order of things. And Alicent is simply... Alicent. Angry. Not mother or mom or the queen. Alicent. Her grace speaks with two tongues. She has a gentle heart. And Rhaenyra is a cunning spider. She holds love for our enemy. That makes her a fool. I sense Aemon doing a wee bit of a daemon thing where he's going to plot to keep his brother on the throne and then kill his brother and take over. The dog, his name is Cheese. One or both of them are not gonna come out. That's just my hunch. <laughs> right, the rats. So is Princess Queen's sister what girl. She gonna be like the raven? Is that what three-eyed raven? Was that what that was? 
Well, it's off limits, it is. Different group of rat catchers worthy upstairs. I got you in the castle. I thought the rest was your bed. I could end you right here. Take the rest of the gold myself. <laughs> Show me. <gasps> Why are we kicking the dog? <sighs> this way. Why are we kicking the dog? Why are we kicking the dog? <laughs> There's no way they're taking Eamon out episode one. Although it's Game of Thrones-esque adjacent. They could very well, because that would shock us all. But that would be too much of a shock, I believe. No one's here. I don't know. That door you opened was pretty loud. No head, no gold. Oh great, now we got storming, which could cover their noise, but nothing good, nothing good. It's a trap for you, sir. For the rats. Does he know how to work a rat trap? <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh fuck is she? That's the queen. A son for a son, he said. Or does she look like a fucking son to you? Over there. Wait. We need to get our head and get out. <gasps> is that a little bit? Oh, the little baby! Wrong son! Which one's a boy? Maybe that one. Wrong son! One eyed! The mother knows. Which? Which? I have a necklace. It's of great value. <laughs> That's not a son. Oh no, 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 no. It's the other one. She's not gonna give up the king's hair that easy. She's telling true. Hold him down. <gasps> it's the wrong son! Oh, Dean's gonna freak out. Demon is gonna freak out. I can't believe they do this. Of course I can. Of course I can't believe it. Cause that's what this show does. It's crazy pants and this is terrible. And I can't believe they now didn't take out the strongest player because they're so stupid and hasty. And where did that ball of rolling fire thing go? It burned down Amen's house. Girl, keep running. Keep running and don't look back. Keep running and don't look back. <gasps> Keep running and don't look back. They killed the boy. <laughs> one eye. They were told. White haired prince, one eye. Neither of them went baby child. Oh, look, he's got both. We must move on. Because Damon's gonna be pissed. We, uh, we just. We just added, we just added more fuel, fuel, fuel to the fire, fire fueled, ha ha ha, fire fueled. And I laugh, it makes me laugh. I always have to remind you all about why I laugh when I see terrible, horrible things. Please remember, 
I am not laughing at baby child. <laughs> what I am laughing at is somebody, sometime, probably George R. R. Martin, sat in his room, sat in his room with his cup of coffee and his pipe, and he was thinking, what could I do to make things even worse? I know, I'll behead a child. Mm -hmm. And he wrote it down. And somebody, editor, went, great, let's go with it. And then we have the show. And they're going, what parts do we need to put in the show? And they went, ah, beheading, excellent. We'll film it, we'll cast it, we'll light it. And then they bring us this moment. Uh, uh, that whole creative process and decision making is what I laugh at. That's what delights me and horrifies me are those moments. So again, I'm not laughing at the tragedy. I have to remind you all, I'm not laughing at the tragedy. It's everything else. Because it's crazy pants. It is crazy pants. So I wonder, where are we going? <laughs> I like knowing my destination in a story. Where, where, where at least, what's our heading? We know the Targaryens are on the throne a hundred and some years in the future because we had the Mad King until Robert Baratheon. Baratheon was the first non-Targaryen on the throne. Yes, is that what went down? And I don't remember ever hearing that they had a queen head of the crown, throne. So that's why I'm thinking Rhaenyra doesn't win. Who... I like to know who's going. <laughs> what I'm afraid what's going to happen is just that we're going to get episode after episode of one upmanship of terror and horror. And then at the end be left with uh, season eight. Right, right, right. So what are we, what are we here for? What I'm realizing is why I enjoy watching House of Dragons so much is all of you. Watching all of you, hearing your reactions, seeing your reactions to what we've just witnessed, that's why I watch this series. Because it's crazy pants. But you all are what's most entertaining about this show. So that's why I'm watching this. Not to watch the horror, but to watch you all watch the horror. I'm making sense. I think I'm making sense. Yes. Okay. So we are going to breathe. Hug our little ones tighter. <laughs> We're gonna take care of ourselves. You're going to stretch your bodies. This is a reminder, if you haven't in a while, go eat something. If you haven't also already, hit subscribe so you know when the next video drops because I want you there with me. We will send each other virtual hugs, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with me and until next time, y'all.